there, I'm Miss Melissa from the Lorton Library. Today I want to tell you about some fun fireworks art activities you can do at home for the 4th of July or for any other holiday that you want to celebrate with fireworks or even any time of year just for fun. So for this project, you're going to need a toilet paper roll, some paper such as construction paper or cardstock, some paint, some scissors, and a paper plate or bowl to put your paint in. Now, first what you're gonna to wanna to do is to go ahead and take a paper towel or toilet paper roll and make a mark with a pencil about three inches up all the way around, kind of a circle. And then you'll go ahead and take your scissors and make a cut on the roll just like this and then make another cut so that you kind of have a thin strip. If you want to make it a little thicker, you can. The size is up to you. And keep on cutting all the way up to the line, all the way around the roll, until your paper towel or toilet paper roll looks like this. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and flatten out your roll like this. So that kind of looks like a sun. An easy way to do that is to kind of push it on the table. Right, and next, it's time to go ahead and fill up your plate with paint. To make a firework, press your toilet paper roll into the paint and cover it as much as you can so it's nice and covered. And then press it onto your paper to make a firework print. And you might even want to go ahead and press down the different pieces of cardboard with your finger a little bit just to make sure that the paint stays. And then lift up and voila, we have a firework. If you want to make more than one color of firework, it's best to use two different paper towel or toilet paper rolls. Keep on pressing until you have as many fireworks as you want. You can also use black or blue paper depending on the color of your paint. For a fun sensory art activity, you can also make fireworks using shaving cream, paint or food coloring, some Q-tips or toothpicks, a pan, you can use a disposable lasagna pan, a baking dish from home, whatever you have on hand, and some thick paper or even cardboard, something pretty sturdy. Now to start out, what we're going to go ahead and do is first of all, make sure we're wearing clothes that we don't mind getting messy, and then we're going to fill up our pan as much as we can with shaving cream. You might want to shake it a little bit first. Once your bin is nice and full of shaving cream, take your cardstock or cardboard and use it to spread out the shaving cream as evenly as you can. Next, take some paint or food coloring and drop it in different places on the shaving cream to make some big dots. I'm using red and blue paint but you can use whatever color you would like. Next, take your Q-tip or toothpick and swirl it in the paint to make a firework shape. It works best if you start from the inside of the paint dot and then move outward. You can even borrow some paint from another dot to make it multicolored. Once you have the paint nice and swirled, Lightly press your paper onto the paint and let it set for a minute or two. Gently lift the paper off the shaving cream and use another piece of cardstock or cardboard to scrape off the extra shaving cream and reveal your design. Depending on how thick your paper is, this one right here is poster board and this one is cardstock. You might end up with a more marbled look or with actual fireworks. How hard or light you press can also make a difference. So this is a great opportunity to experiment and kind of see how changing different aspects of the art activity changes the art that you make. Thank you for watching and have fun creating your own fireworks art at home.